from conservativeforever.com. Hillary caught on video admitting we created the Islamic State. Trump was right. It turns out that Donald Trump's claims that Obama together with Hillary funded ISIS are true. He was constantly attacked by the liberals, but the evidence is showing he is right. Apparently, Hillary and Obama were arming, bankrolling, and supporting jihadists in Syria and Libya. Even Hillary Clinton admitted that the same narrative. She said, I mean, it, let's remember here the people we are fighting today we funded 20 years ago, and we did it because we were locked in this struggle with the Soviet Union. Apparently, their plan was to both destabilize the Middle East and expand the domestic police state. Back in 2009, Clinton confessed that the U.S. government is the main reason for Al-Qaeda to be that powerful and even to turn into ISIS. Kit Daniels reported a few decades later in 2012, Clinton's State Department was backing Al-Qaeda in Iraq which morphed into ISIS and other Islamic extremist groups as a proxy army to topple Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, a close ally to Russia and an enemy to Saudi Arabia and Obama administration ally. The memo from the State Department and the Pentagon read the Salafist, Sikh, the Muslim Brotherhood, and Al-Qaeda in Iraq are the major forces driving the insurgency in Syria. The West Gulf countries and Turkey support this opposition, while Russia, China, and Iran support the Assad regime. Hillary Clinton, we created Al-Qaeda. We also have a history of kind of moving in and out of Pakistan. I mean, let's remember here, the people we are fighting today, we funded 20 years ago. And we did it because we were locked in this struggle with the Soviet Union. They invaded Afghanistan, and we did not want to see them control Central Asia. And we went to work. And it was President Reagan, in partnership with the Congress, um, led by Democrats, who said, you know what, sounds like a pretty good idea. Let's deal with the ISI and the Pakistani military, and let's go recruit these Mujahideen, and let's great, let's get some to come from Saudi Arabia and other places, importing their Wahhabi brand of Islam, so that we can go beat the Soviet Union. And guess what? They retreated, they lost billions of dollars, and it led to the collapse of the Soviet Union. So there's a, a very strong argument, which is, it wasn't a bad investment to end the Soviet Union, but let's be careful what we sow, because we will harvest. So we then left Pakistan. We said, okay, fine, you deal with the stingers that we've left all over your country. You deal with the mines that are along the border. And by the way, we don't want to have anything to do with you. In fact, we're sanctioning you. So we stopped dealing with the Pakistani military and with ISI, and we now are making up for a lot of lost time. Furthermore, Kit Daniels tweeted, Hillary's State Department backed Al-Qaeda in Iraq, which later morphed into ISIS. He stated, this secret document confirms that Clinton's State Department and the Obama administration in general was directly responsible for the rise of ISIS. Aside from the evidence, even Hillary confessed that they funded the growth of ISIS, which resulted in so many deaths over the years. And that's the bottom line. So, and they were making fun of Trump, right? Yeah, okay. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.